Hello. Um, this is Devin with a, another Lego review. Um, this is a custom Lego set. And I think it is a very good one. It, um, so first of all, I'm from Meridian, Idaho. Um, this is a little thing that I wanted to do for, um, I wanted to make a, basically I wanted to make a Lego set of, um, Meridian, the Meridian Speedway, so I went ahead and did it, and, um, I left out one part. I left out one part of the set by accident, um, and it is this little, like, stand thing, um, and so let's get right into the Okay, mini so figures. we get right two minifigures in this little custom build that I made. And, as you can see, one of them is a face of the Where's My Pants guy from the Lego movie. Um, there's no back printing, just white. And I thought it was a cool idea since he's kind of like a celebrity. I gave him a white tuxedo. So that is a really cool design that I thought I could really do because it came with the white pants I just had to find the tuxedo so um here is the the driver of this thing that I built he's just a basic guy with a blue cap and no printing on the back so that's it for the minifigures not much to say um, there's also one more minifigure, and it is the flag guy. He comes with a little checker flag. I have two of these pieces. Um, they're just stickers on the side, and it's like a real flag. And I didn't have the right clothes to dress him for this, so I just put a, like, um... C, like Coast Guard thing. He has a little walkie talkie right there. And a Coast Guard sign. Super, sign of super. Um, so that's it for him. I left out that little detail for him. So that is it for the minifigures. Let's move those on to the side. And let's get right into this. So first we have this little basic, let me move these out of the way. Ornamental. This is just a basic little thing. Barely any, um, I don't know, just... Um, so, let me take off this piece right here, and it is like a little lap thing, it says lap 160, I'm just printing and there's a little light on the top, and it says the same thing on the other side, and that just goes right on here like this. Not much detail on this, so I thought I could do better, but it's a little, like, grass theme. It's green. It's a green base plate. Um, a little area to hang up something in a grill piece. little red light. Then that's just it for that. Um, now let's get on to the actual race car. Um... 
very good design, I would say. Um, and let's dive right into it and see what it can do. Um, it's very basic, as you can see. There is a number three right there, and a yellow steering wheel, blue seat. I think this is called a spoiler right here, and very nice detail. I really like how I did this. Um, so just, it's like very good. Um, I plan on putting something on these sides right here. Um, what I thought was a really good design was this hood piece. Make it look bad and stuff. The license plate is like PN4435 and it says that. Oh, never mind. It doesn't say it on the back. Nice um, back pieces and stuff. Again, the spoilers. There. There's like a coupling on the back. I don't know why I put there that. Together. Um, so yeah, nice design for that. Um, zoom out and bring in the big trailer. Okay, so this can detach, but it's kind of hard. And let's just focus on this part right here. So let me zoom in. Zoom. Okay. So I really like how I did the yellow design right down the middle. And then the rest is white. Um, I had enough tiles to make it smooth on the top. And the way that you put the minifigure in there is you just pop that right off like that. And, um, the only thing that I wish I could change about this is that you can't actually seat a minifigure in there. You have to take his legs off and then actually put him in the seat. I really wish I could change that. Um, if you have any tips about making this higher... Um, and actually putting a minifigure in, um, please tell me. I really need to know. There's an extra... Here, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Back in there, there's a little extra space for the driver of the NASCAR thing. And there is a little coffee mug right there, and a steering wheel. And on the side right here, there's a little wrench. And I did like, I like how I did the like blue design on the back and stuff. And I like how, uh, so this on the side right here, it's on both of the sides. I will tell you what that is for in a couple okay um so it's meant for like a gas pump to like fill up um let me get this off and i will show you how it works so it just drives up and it fills up I really like how I did that. It is actually, the nozzle actually fits in there. I really, really like how I did that. Um, and it's on both sides. So, there's a license plate on the front, which is JM7737. And also headlights, and on the back there's no license plate. The back lights and stuff. And the whole back trailer just turns on this rotating piece. So that's it for that. Um, now, time to do the actual trailer part. 
I really like how I designed this. Um, so right over here, let me focus on that. There is a little spot where you can put your little driver's helmet on there. And I really like how I did the grill piece. And you just take it off or take it on. And it's just like a little NASCAR helmet. And I really like that design, how I did that. Um, so moving on. There is, let me focus on this, right there, that's where the front tires of the NASCAR goes, um, I'll show you at the end of the video how that works, and then it's just the low riding trailer, I like how I did the low riding part, and then this just goes up right here, um, I took a minifigures plate and set it back right here. And I wish I could have done like a little ramp to get the actual car up. But I'm going to show you how I um, get the car to say stay in one place. So I just take the car and drive it up with a ramp and then it just sits right in there very light nicely and it just doesn't go anywhere at all and there's a back part of the car where I can stick it onto this and it doesn't go anywhere the front can lift but that's okay um, So, let's put that aside. Thank you for watching this. Um, oh yeah, I have to show you how this couples up. So, it's just on the back and it couples up just like this. And however you drive, it just spins like this. And I really like that design. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed it because I spend a lot of time building these things. Um, and I just hope you liked it um leave comments um it's always helpful and tips on how to get the minifigure to just stay in there um that would be helpful and see you next time bye